drought was declared a national disaster last year in October and I have been part of the groups donating food in drought stricken areas and I can say for real drought is really affecting people. I've seen it with my eyes, I have witnessed. The two weeks I stayed there in Trukana, it really opened my heart. I interacted with women and innocent children while we were doing the emergency food reliefs. And from watching innocent kids really suffer, mothers had lost hope, and they were just staring at the death because the place was totally different from what I envisioned. There were no trees, no shrubs, no water. Having interaction with the community, I learned that the river was ever flowing, the water was fresh, and the communities were really using that water. But because people started cutting down trees and they had a lot of livestock because the community depends on livestock, so they increased the number of livestock which fed on the which fed on the grassroots and they, you know, they cut down trees to accommodate their livestock. Now the river was just like, like a road, like vehicles were passing there and actually they had to dig and dig and dig for them to get water and the water was extremely dirty. I realized droughts do not only affect food systems, but they fuel poverty, conflict and a lot of migration because in one village you could only find like 10 households and they were telling us the youthful generation had migrated, there were conflicts, there were poverty and it's, it's a cross-cutting issue, it's not only the food aspect and water scarcity alone.